Ready? Get out! No! Oh, oh my really god! Hard. That was really hard! Hello, welcome to Durante's European Development Centre here in Ideada, Spain. I have with me my friend Jordi. Hello, Jordi. Thank you for your time. Welcome. I brought Jordi here because I would like to explain to him, as a normal driver and tyre user, the difference in tyre label gradings. So when you decide that you need new tyres on your car, you will go to the tyre shop and you will have available to you these labels. So this is a legislative sticker mm -hmm. attached to each tyre. We have the Devanti All Tora and a competitor tyre. As you can see, these label grades are the same. When you purchase the tyre, the first column here has a ranking from A to E, and this is the fuel efficiency. So this is how much fuel the car will use when fitted with these tyres. Yep. If it's A rated, it's going to use less fuel. But what is very important to us is here, this wet braking grade. So when you're doing a braking stop in the wet, a test has been undertaken on each of these tyres and it has been determined that they are both the same, they are both labelled B. And then next to us we have this decibel number, this is the drive-by noise. So every test in here is covered by an EU label grade. But I would like to show to you today the difference in a, in a test condition on the proving ground with the Durante Altora and a competitor tyre. Right. Ready? Perfect. Let's Perfect. go. Yeah. The track behind me is zone one, track number seven. This is a braking track. The actual test we're going to do is on the asphalt. As you can see, there's a pylon at the start, the cone. This is the indicative point to the driver where we need to apply the brakes. So it's very important that what we do is we drive along at a constant speed, we settle the vehicle, when we get to the pylons, we apply full brake force, full ABS, and as a manual car, we'll dip the clutch. Inside is a RaceLogic V-Box Touch. It's the latest piece of GPS measurement equipment. What that will enable us to do is see the stopping distance and the stopping time. It's very important that when we analyse the two tyres, so we first we will fit the Devanti All Tora and then we will fit the competitor tyre and we will be able to see in the box exactly the stopping distance. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So, what we do, yeah. So we drive down here and what I need to do, the, the speedo in the car is never as accurate, so this this is accurate. Yeah. So I drive and I want a little bit over, I want 85, mm. there, thereabouts. Because when I brake the aerial pitches, I want that smooth. Literally the brake. Wow. And that's it. So that is basically a full stop as fast as you can stop I in the wet really stale. yeah and it's 29 meters 29.7 that's your first ever braking stop wow <laughs> yeah and what we'll do when we're testing we will do that we want um, we'll come round and we will do usually seven and from the seven we take five so normally you find if especially at the start of the day is the car is warming up and things so we get five braking stops all within half a meter one meter of each other we know the tyre is stable. We know then that that is a valid um, stopping distance for that tyre. We go back to the workshop, we change the tyre, we come back and we repeat. And uh, obviously the race logic B box it's there has re recorded it, so we'll be able to see in here the results, so 29.7. And also it's on a card, so I will go and then put that data into a report. In 85, centre line, and break. 29 again. Uh, hold on, huh? Yep. Good. Should we do one more for luck? Then we've got three, then it's an average, then no one's arguing with us. Okay. There's loads of companies doing this, but Devante is one of the only um, tyre brands in their sort of market segment really that do all this extra work mm. and it is really valuable it's really valuable as you'll see the people that have a car like this car the one we're doing the testing in these are the people that will make a decision based on budget mm. you know they'll buy you know a cheap tire i was thinking about that early on 
when you go to the garage, yeah, they always offer you the the cheapest one. Maybe, yeah, true, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're offering it such yeah. a way. And the people that don't have that information, that don't yeah. know, they're then going to have, you know, the, the the product which isn't quite as good. Happy. Right, I think we've got a good average there. So now we'll change the tyres and it'll be a true valid test because we're going to do everything at the same time, the same place, same conditions, same everything. again like last time. Wow. Quite a lot further isn't it? Wow. But as far as you're concerned, if you look at them and you buy them, they're the same. But, but they're not they the not. same. <laughs> and you can see not. where the cones are and you can see it's like five meters. Which five meters doesn't a sound a lot but it is a lot. It is a long way back. Yeah. Also the stability. You could feel it move, yeah. couldn't it? Yeah. Wow. Getting worse. Mm -hmm. We are where we are, but, yeah. and that is it. You, you buy these tyres, you have this every day. Okay, Yori. So you saw from inside the car, yeah, with the Race Logic V Box Touch, the industry-approved, calibrated data logger, the distance. It was clearly different, um, more than five meters. No, definitely. As you can see behind us, we had somebody putting pylons where the car was stopping. So the first three are the Davanti, and then the the last three are the competitor tire. So it's very clearly a difference in the real world. I wanted to highlight that to you so that you could understand the difference. Although those both label grades are the same, in the real world it's very clear the tyres perform differently. It was. Now, I've had an idea. Oh dear. Would you like to see the real world result from this? Because oh. imagine that is another car yeah. or that is a person. We are clearly going to crash into them. Do you think that's a good idea? Shall we try it? It is a bit, yeah. Yeah? Go Are we going to go for it? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. You're f that. I know. <laughs> You're the one sat there, I think. Yeah. I'm crazy, that makes I you didn't stupid. Know what was <laughs> Oh my, oh it oh, looks so real. It is real. Oh my god. Speed's the same. Oh god, yeah. this was... Uh... Get out! Ready? Go! Oh. 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 Yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> brilliant! God. That was really hard. It really was. Imagine! My no. heart is going, my oh. Fitbit's just exploding. <laughs> Imagine that feeling on a freeway with a real car or a person. No. It's a horrible feeling because it's just yeah. not stopping and there's nothing, nothing you can do, just nothing, it just bang. And that was one of the better ones for that one. Actually, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, maybe because we had one metre yeah. less because we transferred it to that. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So, Yordi, thank you very much for, for being in the car with me. My pleasure. And it's been my pleasure to show you such an important message. As you know, inside the car there was the RaceLogic V-Box performance meter. It was measuring the deceleration distance. So we braked from 80 kilometers an hour and then it gave us a stopping distance. But what I can actually show you here this graph yeah. is the speed that the vehicle is traveling at throughout the braking stop. So here is the speed and the distance. So you can see this orange line yeah. is the Devante Altura. And you can see at this point here, we are stopped. This is our stationary point. So this is the three cones 
So this red line is a competitor tyre. So you can see actually how fast we were going when we crashed into the other car. So without cheating and you're feeling, how fast do you think that was? Considering we braked from 80 and we stopped at zero. Fast. It was fast. It was 30.38 kilometres an hour. So that was this, the impact speed okay. when we crashed into the car, which is what a real customer would have in the real world. And if I were to take that data um, and look at the risk of severe injury when a person is struck by a car, that is in the region of 15%. So it's a life-changing injury for somebody and a 2% chance of actually causing them yeah. a terminal injury. So it was really good fun. Thank, Thank you for being here with me. It does have a serious message in that both of those tires, the Devante Altura and the Competitor, had the same EU braking label. They were both B. But as you can see, it's very clear. Big difference. Big difference. Yes. So hopefully those of you watching can understand how important it is, all this testing that we do. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.